All new on 2 News at 10 in HD. It has been one week now since Congresswoman Mary Fallon became Oklahoma's governor-elect. Tonight, she is giving Tulsa a lot of attention. 2 News reporter Jason Grubbs joins us live from City Hall with more on the meeting between the state's new leader and Tulsa's mayor. Jason? Yeah. Yeah, Karen, that meeting lasted about an hour and a half between the two. A lot of ground was covered in the mayor tonight saying that he let the newly elected governor know Tulsa wants to be a key player in Oklahoma's future. Tulsa is one of our top communities in our state, and I always want Tulsa to feel like they're part of everything that goes on in the governor's office. Governor-elect Mary Fallon made that clear when she appointed Tulsa businessman Bob Sullivan as her special advisor of economic development. Fallon used her tour of the Nordam plant to express her mission to retain and grow jobs in the area. There are so many key industries here, whether it's here at Nordam with the aerospace industry, Spartan School of Aeronautics. From there, it was off to City Hall for a meeting with Mayor Dewey Bartlett, where the two talked about several opportunities for development. We want to emphasize that the city of Tulsa uh, certainly wants to be uh, very beneficial to her, but a player in the economic development of this, of this state. Jobs, What's the compound work? education, the Gilcrease Expressway, development along the Arkansas River. It was all discussed, including the future of energy. We stated that the city of Tulsa wants to be known as a real leader in uh, alternative energy development, but in specific uh, with compressed natural gas. The independent study by KPMG was also a focus. That audit made 1,100 recommendations to streamline city services. It's something Fallon wants to do at the state level. The new KPMG study for Tulsa certainly is, is a great template for Tulsa to look at how they can use money more wisely, and uh, we'll be looking at other studies like that, similar to that. And Mayor Bartlett also brought up sales tax collections. He thinks the city can actually do a better job than the state can. Governor-elect Fallon says that is an issue she's hearing a lot of across the state in her administration. We'll be looking into it. But live from downtown Tulsa tonight, Jason Grubbs, 2 News, works for you. Now, the governor-elect has set up a transition website, and she's hoping that Oklahomans use it to submit ideas. You can find that site by going to kjrh.com.